Hey, Amanda. Thank you for taking my call. You're um, welcome. My husband, Louie, and I have a question about crepe myrtles. Okay. Some of our neighbors trim them back to the nubs, and some of them just let them go. What is the proper thing to do with crepe myrtle? Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Jonathan. Yes, ma'am. As, as someone who's got an advanced situation <laughs> in his life, um, tell us your take on this Personally, problem. I would leave my crepe myrtle alone. It's... We see it everywhere, the baseball bat sticking out of the ground, crepe murder. Um, you really have to know how to prune a crepe myrtle tree. You just can't top them. And then you get that nasty ball at the top. And look at this picture that Teresa posted of these poor, um, beautiful, I mean, they would be beautiful. And um, Vicki, one of the nice things is if you, for a, lot, a long part of the year, crepe myrtles, you, you see the silhouette of the trunk. And it can be very graceful. It's, a, it's actually it? a, a pretty artistic tree. Oh, and it's, um, they yeah. can be very graceful and very beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and they can be, you know, you can, it, they're, they're actually works of natural, natural art. Natural art. Whenever they're pruned properly. And wow. really and truly, you don't even have to prune this thing. And, you know, you want to prune out dead wood, diseased wood. Um, anything that's crossing and rubbing could cause a wound mm -hmm. um, or where it's going to grow together and cause a weak point. Um, and maybe occasionally take some branches out just to let more sunlight in. Just to in. open up the middle of it uh -huh. so that there's nice airflow, lots of sunlight going through. So and you will get like lichens that. growing on it. Right. <laughs> okay. So, um, Sarah, I, I tell you, everybody, and we talk about it all the time, and I don't know why people still do it, um, but they do. And a crepe myrtle is such a, a tough tree that it could survive that. If you did that to a lot of trees, it would actually kill it. But thank you for calling, and I hope that you and your husband will um, be the models in your neighborhood. You we actually have a, a fact sheet, not just on crepe myrtles, but on crepe myrtle pruning. There's a specific crepe myrtle pruning fact sheet At on Clemson. the HGIC, okay. on Clemson's Home and okay. Garden Information Center. Okay. And it's got um, some, some yeah. diagrams. Good examples that, yeah. of what you would want to remove, but mostly you just want to leave things alone. Right. Okay. All right.